Welcome to Kickstarter Radio 102.4. I'm your host, Lipstick Patty, and ooh, Catapult Feud Hydra is on Kickstarter. Now, you may be forgiven for thinking, isn't this like Catapult Kingdoms? Well, it, it, it is Catapult Kingdoms. It's had to change its name because of trademark reasons, but Catapult Feud is now being trademarked for the company, and this game is a stellar kids game, although as adults you'll likely have a bit of fun over a beer, or wine, or whatever your tipple is. Now before we go down and see what's new here, because we've got a plethora of expansions here, um, let me just tell you about my... Uh, Festive videos, there's three of them. I looked at the best Kickstarters of the year for 2021 in the categories of under $100 and God forbid those big ones over $100. Woo! And um, the third one, which will be coming out on New Year's Eve, that one will be looking at the worst Kickstarters of 2021. Ones that had millions of dollars and thousands of backers on them, which I got very angry over after being much hyped about them. Well, there's the promotion out the way. Let's look at Catapult Feud then. <clears throat> so essentially, you build your castle. And you can build your castle um, however you want it, actually. It doesn't really matter. And the expansions down below are offering lots of goodness. And in fact, you can... Um, you can do lots of stuff. In, in fact... You can push it to three and four player if you get extra boxes. And um, it says plus seven, but I think you'd be okay with lower than that. I think five-year-old might be, have fun with this. Um, so yeah, this Kickstarter was a couple of years ago. I covered it on the channel and it delivered like within a year. It was express delivery. And it's saying here on the um, estimated delivery it's September, so it's fairly quick. Now, so reviews are out of Catapult Kingdom, and it has been getting very good reviews because the gameplay is dexterity-based, and it is actually fun because the launching of the objects are made to a standard where they work, and the bricks and everything are a certain lightweight where they work. They actually feel satisfactory and wonderful to hit people. I like that they've got this kind of black and white about them, but um, I'd be tempted to paint them up. I don't know about you, but um, even if you could paint them up in this art style they've got, that would be wonderful. You don't have to make them look detailed here. Keep it in this cartoon style. I do like the castellated sides here, though, and um, I love like, the little towers that you can get here. You can get very creative with them. And um, that's going to be interesting. So, first first bit of fun is building your castle, right? And then you're going to get to blow it up. These pictures, though, because on the initial Kickstarter, you didn't really see what the product looked like. But here we can. Absolutely wonderful toys of plastic here to launch them. Well, whether you've got the um, catapults, battering ram... Um, ballisters, a boat, what? So, um, rather than come back to Kickstarter and uh, just relaunch it, you know, they've had to bring out an expansion. So this expansion here is the Hydra. And we'll see that as we go down. Now, so we, even though they have this like old video, we've got an actual picture that they've been doing here and you see how good it is and you can see the different designs that these castles can be as well way so <laughs> so it really is it about you playing with your kids or are you just going to let your kids play with them invite a friend round to play catapult feud it really is a fantastic gift i think although you might want to put it in your collection and let them play with it because otherwise they're going to go bananas with it i don't know whatever you plan now the player boards i really love these and they're bringing there is like 
um, pledges to get these were it's a mat, so they're changing these into mats, which is fabulous. Um, it, production levels is way off the. Is this just highlighting this again for you peeps, if you watch my original video? But anyway, if you need to, it, it, it is like a stunning game, but it is primarily based for that kind of, for kids, but it might bring that kid out of you whilst you're playing it. It's a bit like, I think, playing worms in the video game, where you're kind of launching worms at each other, and sometimes you hit or miss. There's genuine satisfactory and really fun smiley things when you nail it in these dexterity games, and I think that's why it appeals to me anyway. The card art for me is still, I think it's functional at best. I'm not a fan too much of the art. I wish it was a little more cutesified. Um, I don't know, it just lacks vibrancy, which I would expect from this kind of cartoon look but yeah lack of vibrancy is my complaint looks a little too dull like it's overcast dark weather or something is happening here whereas when you see the pictures and it's all vibrant popping there right so anyway here's the hydra and it looks like the middle head on it can launch a ball so <laughs> what they're calling a fireball hmm obviously this big mini but how does this work if you're playing two players? Is this some kind of random thing that comes in? Or is it... Um... I don't know, because you can see here next to the tower, it's absolutely massive. Very well detailed as well. It looks like they do have the uh, model here. Here we go. Wow! That fly... <laughs> it's like elasticated. Dear me, that is, gonna... that is like a bruiser, this thing. When it comes in. Now the volcano expansion. This one's really exciting. I have. Um, you know. it's Has it been inspired by another game? You know. The curse of Volca. I have that volcano game. So I do appreciate the card art here. Um, and I think when you see all this on the table, it looks majestic. It really does. But I like the idea of these, you might say, NPCs, non-playable characters. Is the Volcano a character or the Hydra? Uh, these things are in the match. I do like that. Because potentially, if you've got two kids playing, the parent could take over the Volcano or the Hydra and kind of balance it out. Because if one's good... And just killing the other person's castle, that's when you can turn these NPCs on the player that's doing well. Now it does stress there are enough cards and components to play up to four players. That is going to be hectic, um, but it is what it is. Vikings, we have Viking expansion. That's the boat. Looks wonderful. And um, the most interesting thing about the campaign, then, is the Hydra and, I guess, the Volcano. And the Architect's Pact, which will be stretching. So, mm, we'll see how it goes. But it is going to be a tantalising um, game, indeed. And if it's coming September, that's potentially Christmas next year. You're pre-ordering for Christmas. You're pledging for a Christmas present. Is that what it really is? Now, there's this holiday ammunition. It's basically you're going to be firing Christmas trees at each other. Well, it is, <laughs> it is going to be um, ready for Christmas. I like this. It's like if you played at Christmas, you can fire Christmas trees at each other. Um, and it's the early birds. You can get in on that. Sounds kind of fun. Um... Now, it says... The other ammunition in the game is hives, which is beehives. Really, really nice. I like the aspect that the, the changing up the ammo because it, it makes it sound uh, more, kind of more charming and fun, you know. So, yeah, if you hit any of your opponent's bricks, the beehive breaks open and bees chase the troops. 
and you can move then some of the troops into locations so it's really good rubber dice launch rubber dice at your opponents interesting it actually rolls an outcome so um three possible outcomes when it hits them i really do like it um i think we saw these mainly on the the original kickstarter but yeah you can fire fish at each other and um these special rings that you can put um make your troop royal um so yeah, if they're royal, it gives them two two lives. Essentially, they get knocked down, they get back up again. Uh, the fish ammunition, they are supposed to be smelly fish. And um, troops will faint from the stench, it says. So, poor. Oh, it looks so good, doesn't it? Look at the... I mean, that volcano is not small, is it? <laughs> Uh huh. It says a uh, volcano, Vikings, and game maps. Where's the one with the hydra in? There's all the ammo. Looks fantastic. Don't Kickstarters look much better once they've got finished production out there? Of course, they've got the new branding on the boxes here. But it's an amazing toy set. And. Um, Again, the third person just could be the dungeon master that takes control of the volcano and the hydra and maybe the boat and kind of makes it fair. If, it, you know, because you, you're going to have one child potentially older than the other that's better at dexterity. And, um, yeah, you can micromanage it, I guess. So, yeah. Um, you're going to love designing your own castle. You're going to love bla blasting it down. Gorgeous painting that's been done of the characters. Love it. Look at that. Amazing. Again, you've got to kind of paint them in that kind of cartoon style. But, you know, you're doing it vibrant. The cards are not vibrant. I wish the cards had a bit more pop to them. I think that's my only concern. You can see the painted um, wall here. Fantastic. And the this is what I mean. You've got to keep it within the art style. And I think it looks tremendous. Um, so yeah, cool. <laughs> very, very cool. So there we go, peeps. There's lots of good one. And look at that. Big, put in a Lego tower. Tanks. This guy's role playing with his uh, with his game here. Yeah. You, it is a proven property, though. You can you know, lots of reviews out there of, of the final Capital Kingdoms, but it is basically just feud has changed its name, and we're getting the uh, Hydra, and uh, um, the volcano must have been seen before if that's already been printed. So it is just the Hydra, which is this amazing Capital, and it will um, again let you be the parent to balance it out. I love the Deluxe Edition. This is coming with um, most of what we've seen. The 130, though, is the Volcano and all the ammo packs. And um, yeah, I think, I think if you're coming in here and this is the first time you've seen it, I'd be getting this one, wouldn't you? I mean, <laughs> but you know, it is in a strange type of kickstart post Christmas so I think you might be able to one dollar pledge it and upgrade your pledge going further we'll check out the three FAQ just to see it the pledges are a little bit weird because if you want to come in here and get catapult few it's not here is it you have to come to the add-ons you can get the base game for 40 it originally kickstarted at 35 so it has gone up five dollars probably inflation it was two years ago and um, you can pick any expansions that you missed out on or that you want a la carte wise here so yeah absolutely fantastic some of this stuff is kickstarter exclusive as well um so yeah the volcano the viking the hydra the um some types of the ammo is kickstarter exclusive if you want to kind of keep your eye on that 
Now, you're going to have to buy more boxes. That's why the add-ons are there if you're going to want to put it in. So let's imagine you want the four player. You're going to have to order... the four player upgrade pack at 50. Excuse me. A bit of winter cold, I think, maybe. Ouch, four play pack, that's gonna really add to the pledge. If you want that though, it really is not odd though to see it at four. But if you, uh, once you've pledged in though, you can see if that's gonna be a necessary thing. Right. It's interesting that. Would you get four adults and play catapult feud across a big table? It's an interesting concept now that I've looked at it. There's the four play setup. Um, I like the look of it actually. Yeah. And you know, you've got some people that don't play board games. They just don't do them because they've either had a bad experience or they've had too much Monopoly as a kid. This can completely change them around to what it is because it's a table top game. <laughs> uh -huh. Dexterity is the one to break people's like anti-board game, isn't it? Um, no. Two-player bundle is coming expensive on the shipping if you uh, want the big pledge, that's for certain. And I'm definitely looking at this. I'll certainly be watching this. Definitely, potentially going to go for the two-player bundle. I just think it's too good to miss out of if you're a parent, right? Does stress, though, that the uh, two-player bundle is going to ship in two boxes because it's going to be massive when it arrives. Yeah, you, this is going to have a huge setup, and it's an epic, epic. Um, it's an epic present, I guess, or experience that you're getting here. Let's check this FAQ out. I have the base game. Just go for Hydra, and you can add as many add-ons. What expansions do I need? Um, all of the expansions support four player, they're saying. So all you need is that extra box. That's all you need to do. So, um, so yeah, they've kept it nice and simple. Well, it's on its first day on Kickstarter and it's fired past its stretch goals. It's doing very well. There was over 4,000 backers on the first campaign, so once they've got wind of this, I'm sure they'll be coming on this project. It is going to go into the second week of January, so um, it will do well, actually, I, I imagine. Um, the question is, if you back the first one, are you coming back here for any more of these add-ons that you missed? Because this is a great opportunity to come back. But I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments about how you find this game would you would your game group be happy to play a four player version of this um and how do you feel about dming it to kind of balance it out between two kids i like that aspect playing the hydra and the volcano and the vikings that gives me a one versus one versus one mode and uh, i'm all up for that so yeah super super cool well, I hope you've had a fantastic festive period, and uh, I'll say Happy New Year to you. Look out for my um, worst Kickstarters of the Year video, of course, and um, if those videos are too long form on YouTube for you, I have double billed a podcast. Yes, where you can listen to two videos whilst on the go. That The podcast link should be in the description of this video if you prefer that way so yeah thank you so much for um watching today i again thank you for your for your followership of the channel and hope you um think about subscribing if you're not subscribing and please give me the video if you like it of course and all that jazz um so yeah Capital Feud Hydra expansion looks amazing do we recommend it we completely do solid product well known, has reviews, and this looks to be amazing, doesn't it? So, any parent out there who doesn't have Catapult Kingdoms, <coughs> Catapult Feud on their shelf, 
should really be taking a second look at this game because I think there's a space for any parent out there. So on that bombshell, thank you so much for listening. You take care, uh, stay safe. And this is Kickstarter Radio 102.4. I'm Lipstick Paddy. You take care, stay safe. And bye-bye for now. Thank you.